For anyone hoping some of Insomniac Games' Spider-Man magic might eventually make its way to other platforms, well, I'm about to crush your dreams right now. Sony Interactive Entertainment has just announced its plans to acquire Insomniac Games as a first-party PlayStation studio. Insomniac has a long history with PlayStation, starting with the first-person shooter Disruptor in 1996, and following that up with the original Spyro the Dragon trilogy on PS1. On PS2, they developed the Ratchet & Clank games, which saw sequels in the PS3 and PS4 era. The PS3 launch title Resistance Fall of Man was also theirs, as were the two sequels. Most recently, they developed the acclaimed superhero game Marvel's Spider-Man, about a niche hero based on an indie comic you've probably never heard of. I gave that game a very great 8.7 though, praising the swinging mechanic and engrossing story. You really should play that game if you haven't already, though apparently its sales continue to impress, as Insomniac announced today that Spider-Man has sold 13.2 million copies as of July 28th. So what does that mean for you gamers out there? Well, it pretty much means we're not going to see an Insomniac game developed for something that isn't the PS4 or PS5. Well, that may have felt like a given considering the two companies' long-standing relationship, Insomniac has branched out in recent years. From last generation's Fuse to the Xbox One exclusive Sunset Overdrive to the GameStop published multi-platform Song of the Deep to a handful of VR games. We also reported earlier this year that Sony is looking to acquire more studios to bolster PS5 game development and further enhance its impressive stable first party studios. So it's more than likely that Insomniac will be putting much of its focus on the PS5. Insomniac and Sony didn't announce any games as part of this deal, but it feels like a pretty safe bet to expect Marvel's Spider-Man 2, 3, 4, 5. Look, there's probably going to be a lot of Spider-Man to come, and should Insomniac decide to, they could always look to continue the impressive work the studio started with the Ratchet & Clank PS4 reimagining. That's a personal wish from me, I just really want a Ratchet & Clank sequel. Though this is Sony's first major studio acquisition in a couple of years, it comes on the heels of Microsoft gobbling up studios ahead of Xbox Scarlet's debut next year. In Exile, Obsidian, most recently Double Fine have been added to the Xbox Studios roster, among many more. For the immediate future, a sequel to Spider-Man, while not yet announced, is an obvious next step for Insomniac, and you can bet when we see it, it'll be on PlayStation. We'll be following this story as it develops, so for more, stay right here on IGN. Gamescom is the biggest gaming event on Earth, and IGN at Gamescom Now is bringing it to you live all week long. We've got exclusive gameplay, demos, cosplay, esports, and so much more. If you can't be here in person, IGN at Gamescom Now is the next best thing. IGN Live at Gamescom is presented by Alienware. Alienware. We're game. That whole bit with him, I just got chills thinking about that whole bit with him and Falcon when he's like, I feel like I'm holding someone else's shield. He's like, they're oh not. God. It's like, ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. He's, like, he's like, no, it's... Hey guys, we're going to just talk about Endgame. <laughs> you, did you see Avengers Endgame? It's pretty good.